Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Shield and Knives Boa Folding Knife. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel, by the way. Welcome, one and all. This knife was sent to me for testing and evaluation, so I am going to put it through a gauntlet of different cutting chores. I'm definitely going to put this knife through its paces in this video. The blade length is 3.82 inches. It is D2 tool steel. It has G10 handle scales. It has an opening flipper and an opening slot. It has a partial flat grind with a sub tip. And overall, the blade is very long and wide for an EDC type of folder. The weight on this is 131.8 grams or 4.65 ounces. The knife comes with a pouch. It has open pillar construction, lanyard slot, single position pocket clip. It is a liner lock. This has a ceramic ball bearing pivot. It has a titanium based coating on the blade, also available in stone wash. And this is just a large folding knife that wants to do some work. First up, we're going to cut some paracord. This will be an easy task. This is, this is the warm up. All right, how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well during these tough times. I filmed this during the early morning and sorry for any bird noises. All right, this thing kicked the butt of the paracord. Next up, we've got the seat belt type material. Does pretty well on that. Yeah, I mean, almost as good as a serrated rescue knife. All right, there you go, did well. Next up, we have a piece of wood and we're going to do some whittling on this piece of wood. Yeah, so a lot of interesting stuff in the news lately. Mo most of it negative. I hope you are all prepared for what is coming. You know, how much longer will we be able to enjoy our little folding pocket knife hobby? I don't know. I would say try to live each day to its fullest, uh, but also try to prepare yourself mentally, physically, spiritually. I've been trying to stay healthy. I've been working out, and I would su suggest that you all try to uh, do so likewise, if only to relieve the stress of modern life. And of course, uh, it helps to be fit to fight, even just to uh, maybe defend yourself if the need arises. All right, did awesome at the Whitling. All right, here's the scenario. You forgot your utility knife. You had to use a regular folding knife. All right, here it is on a piece of a box. A pretty thick piece of a box too, but it did well. Here it is on a pepper, slicing up some food. All right, so you saw in those first draw cuts, the uh, sub tip proved itself useful there. And now just this uh, straight edge, good for these type of cuts. And there you go, there's your veggies. All right, a paper test. I love me a good paper test. Now this was when I first got the knife, just listen. So one thing I've noticed about Shield and Knives, I have four of their knives. Every single one of them was extremely sharp right out of the box. Here is the pocket clip in action. So you got a single position deep carry pocket clip. And here is a close up of said pocket clip. So as I mentioned, this has a ceramic ball bearing pivot. In this clip, I'm going to demonstrate the functioning of the flipper and that pivot. Basically that pivot makes it super smooth. There is the lockup. It is a very solid lockup. You see me pushing on the spine there. The flipper is very well designed, works perfectly. And that pivot is smooth like butter. Okay, final thoughts on this BOA. Well, the pivot, the flipper, and the initial sharpness were all very good. 
I was a little skeptical of it when I first saw it because I was just like, man, that's a, a bulbous blade. Like, that just looks a little weird, you know? But once I started cutting things with it, I figured out, oh, okay, so it's just, it's a long, wide blade that wants to do a lot of work, all right? It ain't going to win any beauty contests, I can tell you that, but as far as functionality, I think it's pretty good, especially for the low price. It's The price was around $48 when I last checked. That's pretty reasonable for D2 tool steel and the uh, ceramic uh, ball bearing pivot. Yeah, this blade shape, it reminds me of some kind of old battered uh, prize fighter that has had his nose broken several times, but is tough as hell. You know what I mean? And still effective. If I had my way, I'd have a version of this with a blaze orange textured G10 handle scales because with the blade being kind of over the top, you might as well put some obnoxiously bright handle scales on it to complete that whole look. If you have any feedback for Shield and Knives, by all means leave a comment. I'm sure they would like to hear from you and hear your advice, your constructive criticism and I'm sure they will read all the comments. And remember, super thanks are now enabled for this channel for many countries. Those allow you to support the channel directly. That is the heart icon below the video. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.